What people can see when they walk around the stand is they can see materials for both textile and graphic applications. The textile applications have been put together by the Good Factory and they're really examining the change of direction in terms of fabric manufacturing, whether it's organic cotton, whether it's hemp, whether it's mushroom leather, there are a host of new recycled synthetics and organic materials that are emerging from the supplier space. And this comes across fashion, apparel and sports applications. So there's a great resource there. In terms of the graphics materials that we're featuring, we're really looking at fiberboard materials. So some things that are overtly understood as being sustainable, but also other materials such as those from Smile Plastics, where we're looking at materials that are actually made from uh, reprocessed waste. So where waste becomes the feedstock to making a new product. All of this information is going to be available for our audience to see online at Fespa.com through the Sustainability Spotlight channel. That channel features video interviews with myself and a, a host of people such as Steve Lister, Reboard, Carbon Quota, Claire Taylor, or a whole number of people. We also have a host of uh, podcasts on topics of sustainability by my colleague Kellyanne Young Kong, and then we have a whole series of blogs. This is an area of our website that will continue to be populated as we move forward, but provides a way of getting beneath the surface of brand demand. So what's coming from a kind of brand supply chain perspective that's looking at sustainability certification schemes, carbon footprinting and gaining an understanding of starting endpoints for carbon footprinting, new materials as I've talked about, energy reduction being a massively important one because of course frequently energy can be up to 70% of emissions factor involved in production and reducing it gives us the chance to save money and add to the bottom line and I think that's the message here is that through imaginative interaction and understanding of the sustainability agenda, it becomes a built-in component to just business practice that gives us the opportunity to speak to our clients with more authority on transparency and reporting and it builds business advantage and that's our message is that sustainability is good for all of us but it's also good for our businesses. Within the sustainability spotlight feature we have wanted to demonstrate to our audience that we can create a much lower impact stand. We've actually achieved a 10 times reduction in the carbon footprint of the, of the stand this year. So moving away from MDF and Dysar fabric type graphic systems onto Reboard, which has been provided to them as a sponsor, we've managed to get to 10% of the carbon emissions of the build as it would have been. We are very, very proud to be here with Reboard, as we always are. Reboard is a uh, paper core board uh, with a patented core. It's super strong and super lightweight. So it's made to replace MDF plastics and foams. And obviously the reason why we're here is to show what, what paper can do. This event is really a bunch of different materials and they're all constructed here for like three days, four days, five days. FESPA has shown the later years a very proactive attitude to this. So what you have in behind me here is a sustainability spotlight and it's meant to show the event industry and other industries like retail that there are alternatives. You have actually done a great effort here promoting and ensuring that the world can see all these products. So I am really, really happy about this occasion and I look forward to continue supporting you with your beautiful initiatives going environmental.